We took a lot of time in the studio to reinvent our sound, to just pour a new sauce over our progressive sound that we have, that people know, so that we, when we're gonna play again now, I mean, now it's starting a little bit, and hopefully 2022, it's gonna be more shows, that people have the feeling like, okay, these guys invested time in their sound and they are presenting something new, you know? I think it's important to keep our fans interested in the sound that we, we make, but also try new stuff. We're really happy that the party scene is now starting again. Now we can play our tracks. We had a lot of time in the studio. We worked a lot with you guys, 7, 8, 9, 10, providing up and coming producers uh, with uh, new uh, inspiration for them to learn how to make music themselves. And like I said, work in the studio a lot. Like we made tons of music, so much music, and now we're finally able to tour again, finally able to play shows and play our new stuff out, and it's amazing. We're working with uh, Martin. Garrix at the moment on a collab and it's going to be a little bit of the old progressive house music that you're used to from Dub Vision but still it has a new 2021 22 sauce over it so we can't say too much about it because we're still working on it but we really want to have it perfect and um, we're super excited for it. We released our first track on Rave Culture, No More. It was a really uh, a smash. We talked with the guys in January and um, yeah, we just had a really good connection. We made the first track, No More. It has a future ravey kind of sauce over it, but it still has the dub vision um, sound, if you know what I mean. And yeah, we are still working on a track with w, w at the moment, waiting for the clearance because it's a known vocal in the dance industry. Um, but yeah, we're really happy with their support because um, I think Rave is still, you know, big. It's never gonna die and it's gonna be big again. And the house and dance scene and the gigs are coming again, so. Yeah, we're really happy that we're working with these guys. We've been working with Afrojack, obviously, which is our like our main um, inspiration and a good friend of ours, Lucas and Steve. And we've been doing like a lot of side work, like uh, we did a couple of bootlegs for the Swedish House Mafia tracks that came out that did really well, actually. So we've been busy. We're also doing a little bit more commercial stuff. For instance, the track that we did with Lucas and Steve and Afrojack. The Spotify edition is really like sort of say radio-ish. It has a lot of easy listening to it. But then we made also the, um, the Progressive House edition of it. And we're working actually on a new track with Lucas and Steve, because we think nowadays Spotify and radio is more important than ever, because still people listen a lot of music on their radio, on the Spotify. Gigs are coming, but uh, a lot of people still listen at home. So we try to, you know, make the progressive bangers that we used to for the main stage when it's gonna happen. Uh, for instance, Tomorrowland, we're gonna play Tomorrowland, we're gonna play Ultra. We have those tracks ready, but also um, still be present on the radio and the Spotify playlists and make a good mixture between them and just, you know, capture the whole field. I hope you guys uh, love the tutorial, obviously. Um, we're very happy that uh, all the tutorials we did in the past did so well and you guys enjoy watching our stuff and you're inspired by it because I think that's one of the um, yeah, most important motivation like for us why we're doing this is to inspire other people, to make other people happy with our music, but also to inspire an up and coming wave of producers. We put a lot of our heart and soul in it. I think it's uh, an amazing pack, one of the, I think the best one we did so far. Um, so I hope you guys love it. There's more coming, even still. Super excited. Yeah, like you said, like I think uh, the most important thing in our music is the heart and soul. Uh, melodies are always um, very uh, important to us, and also the production, the the um, 
Eye for details, I think, is something that we were very proud of and uh, we spent a lot of time on, on the mixing, on making sure every sound sounds really good. So I think that's uh, our take on the whole Future Rave thing that's happening right now. Uh, we love Future Rave, the, the simplicity of it is, is so amazing. Like, uh, I think it works really well on the big stages. Uh, and I think our take on it, like I said, more towards the melodies and more towards um, bringing some extra details in the production uh, is what makes our Future Rave stands out from the other Future Rave stuff. Yeah, so uh, obviously Daijo Benji, as we know him, is a very good friend of ours. Uh, he's been like, yeah, we've been friends for like over 10 years maybe. And uh, uh, we've always come here and every time we come here, we're like in the studio together and listening to each other's ideas. And this time we were like, fuck it, let's make a track together. And uh, we started this really basic idea. He had an idea and we uh, worked on it here. And it went so fast. I think in one day we made the whole track. And then, uh, yeah, he played the show after he was playing before Kashmir. And uh, we made a, like a fa fast uh, bounce of it, like threw some master stuff, mastering stuff on it, so it sounded pretty thick. Not done, obviously, but good enough to play on the, on the stage. And he played it and uh, the crowd went, went off, so super excited about that one as well. And uh, I think it's, it's a cool track. It uh, has some future rave elements in it, some rap, Hip hop stuff in it, and a uh, very cool mixture between his sound and ours. I mean, our visionaries, thank you so much for supporting us. Um, we love you guys. We've seen a couple during this tour. We're gonna see a lot more because we're gonna do a lot of more gigs coming months. And um, yeah, we can't wait to see you guys. Come talk to us after the show. Put up your signs. Um, we miss you guys and we hope to see you really soon. Or on the internet, you can also uh, email us or send us a private message on Instagram. And we love to talk to you guys because you guys make it happen that we play all over the world and make the music that we make today. Like we love what we do, obviously. We're so fortunate and we hope that you guys um, get inspired and feel the motivation as well to, to pursue your dreams and uh, yeah, hopefully get to a point where you can travel the world and meet, meet your fans and make music and do what you love. And I hope you guys get to, to fulfill your dreams and hopefully see you somewhere around the world.